Old men have been running Kazakhstan for years, and people here are now being asked to vote for another one. But younger Kazakhs are getting other ideas elsewhere. This post went viral, exposing the absurdity of a political system where even a blank banner lands you in trouble. Youth activism has grown rapidly since President Nursultan Nazarbayev resigned in March after 30 years. His chosen successor, Kasim Jumat Tokayev, is expected to win on Sunday in what many say is a managed election. But some activists are calling on voters to boycott the poll, saying it won't change anything. These elections are meaningless and this system is weak because one person can't decide for the whole country. What we're trying to do now is convince uh, people to speak out. I mean, the more people will speak out, the less afraid other people will be. They call themselves Oyan in Kazakh, meaning wake up. A new civic movement demanding democratic freedom, but taking a long view. How do you envisage this working out, can you give us a timetable and an action plan that will bring real change here? Our goal at the first stage is to make sure that everyone in this country clearly understands what kind of steps should be taken to change the political system and what kind of political system should be in this country to tackle the problems of the current authoritarian regime. Young activists have been arrested and jailed but it's helped raise their profile and their social media posts are attracting thousands of followers. There's a network of supporters, but that support exists largely in cyberspace and not yet in large numbers on the streets. This symbolic run towards truth was organized and supported online but only a few joggers took part. Some here fear that after the election, the authorities may try to crush this movement unless the youth can outpace them in their pursuit of change. Robin Forrestier Walker, Al Jazeera, Almaty.